hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I have something a little different for you guys so yesterday I was watching the YouTubes as I often do and I saw Samantha March do a video called if I could only keep 10 makeup brushes and I thought what a fun little challenge for myself to see if I could narrow down 10 brushes that would serve sort of all the purposes. If I could only keep 10, I would still be able to do sort of everything that I need to do in my makeup routine. So I thought this would be really fun. Video idea credit goes to Samantha March. I will link her video in the description box down below. So let's talk about brushes. As you guys know, I have so many, <laughs> I have so many brushes. You kind of have your favorites and then you have your fallbacks. <laughs> When your favorites are dirty, you use the fallback. So I did wash my brushes on the weekend. So it's always kind of like a clean slate of like, I can pick my favorites and use them right away because everything's clean. So I do have 10 brushes here. Well, I have 11. <laughs> I have 11 because I have like an honorable mention, um, but I did narrow it down to 10. And then there was one that I grabbed that I was like, well, if I could choose one more. <laughs> So kind of in the order in which I would use them, I have to have a foundation brush. So I, a lot of these brushes are Luxie brushes. This is not sponsored by them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just get a lot of Luxie brushes in BoxyCharms and they happen to be some of my favorites. So just know that a lot of these are Luxie, um, but it's not necessarily like specifically this brand of brush. It's like this specific shape or style of brush that I would have to pick. So love a foundation brush. You guys know that. I really don't prefer to apply my foundation with a sponge. I really like a brush better. Um, I think that comes partly just from doing makeup on others for so many years. I've always preferred brushes because I can wash them. I can sanitize them. Um, you do get more coverage with a brush than you get with a sponge. And it just feels more natural in my hand for whatever reason. So the one that I chose was the Luxie 532 Round Top Blender. Um, so I have probably five, four or five foundation brushes and they all look very similar to this. So I really like this sort of densely packed dome sort of shaped foundation brush. I don't really like a flat kabuki. I like this sort of rounded top on it. And I like them to be fairly densely packed. Of all of the foundation brushes that I have, even though they're all very similar, when this one's clean, this is the, this is the one. Um, I think because it's densely packed, but it's still like very soft. This is dirty because I used it today. <laughs> A couple of these are dirty. Most of them are clean. Um, it's densely packed, but it's still really soft. It doesn't have any pokey bristles in there. I do have an e.l.f. one that I love, but it is like slightly pokier. And I do have another Luxy one that's very similar to this, but it's a little bit firmer. Um, so this is sort of the Goldilocks <laughs> situation. It's just firm enough. It's just soft enough. It really, I can even blend in my concealer with it because it's just soft enough that I can really get it into that corner and not have to use a separate brush for that. Um, really love a foundation brush. I also find this really useful after you've applied your makeup, say you've gotten your blush a little too low, you can kind of stamp over top with like whatever product is left on the brush and sort of erase that, blend it back in. So can't live without a foundation brush. This would be multi-purpose if I only had 10 brushes. I would be using this to apply my foundation and I would also be using this to blend in my concealer. I had to pick, <laughs> I feel like this whole video is just going to be me justifying my choices, but I mean, everybody would choose something different. It really depends on your application style, but I did have to pick two separate <laughs> powder brushes and here's why. <laughs> okay. So I really love, this is my favorite all over powder brush. So this is the Moda there's no number on it. This is a Moda brush. It's just a face powder brush. Um, again, I just really like the shape of it. It's got like a, it's kind of like a bigger version of that one, but it's much fluffier. Um, it's again, a Goldilocks situation. I have a lot of powder brushes, but this is the one, if it's clean, this is the one that I'm using. It's again, densely packed, but it's really fluffy. It's really soft and fluffy. It really distributes the powder really well. Um, you can kind of buff in with it because it is dense enough that you can do that, but it's not so dense that you're like pressing the powder into your skin, if that makes sense. 
it's also soft without being floppy. I have, <laughs> I don't know why this is striking me as so funny. I, I've never really put that much thought into why I like the brushes that I like. Um, I have a couple other powder brushes that are this size, but like the bristles are longer. So they're like floppier, which I don't love as much. And I like that it's round. I have the powder brush that I use today almost has a flatter, it's almost flatter on one side and narrower on the other, um, which kind of gives you that stamping effect that I don't really like with this. I can really just swirl my powder around and it distributes it really, really well. The other powder brush that I picked was another Luxie brush. So this is the Luxie Pro Precision Face Brush. This is the 680. I believe this is meant to be used for like contouring. I don't use it for that. I really, the shape of this, it's super dense. It's even more densely packed than the foundation brush. Um, it's really, really densely packed. So what I like this for is pressing my powder underneath my eye. Because of the shape, <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. Um, because of the shape of it, um, it really can get into those like crevices and really press the powder in. So I have a very oily, all my brushes are on my lap. I have pretty oily skin and I, my makeup does have a tendency to sort of migrate throughout the day. Additionally, I'm wearing a mask all day. So there's a lot of like humidity that happens right here in that area because of the mask. So my mascara does tend to transfer underneath my eyes, eyeliner, eyeshadow, really whatever. It has nothing to do with the product that I'm using and everything to do with just my skin being the way that it is. So I really, I don't like to bake. We've talked about this in many videos. I don't think that that's flattering for day to day at my age, um, but I do find if I can press a small amount of powder directly underneath the eye, right onto that wet concealer, it really helps kind of lock everything in place. And this brush is just so perfect for it because of the shape of it, because it's so densely packed, it doesn't floof the powder all over the place. I really just kind of press it in underneath the eye. I don't know how many times I'm gonna demonstrate that <laughs> for you guys, but I really like this brush for that. Again, it's not what it's meant to be used for, but I use this brush every single day, every day can't live without it. I don't know what it is. When this came into my life and I started using it that way, it immediately was like, well, what was I doing before? You know, I did have to pick a blush brush and I thought that this could also double as a highlighter brush. I'm not wearing, I'm still wearing highlight. I mean, of course I'm still wearing highlight, but I'm not wearing highlight the same way that I once did. Um, so I'm trying to get away from that really prominent stripe sort of on this part of my face. What I'm doing now is I'm applying my highlighter with a bigger brush and then I'm going over top of that with my blush. And I find that really helps to sort of blend everything in a little bit more seamlessly rather than applying the highlighter over top of the blush and then getting that sort of striped effect. So because I'm applying things that way, I thought I could get away with using one brush for both. Are the window cleaners here? Maybe. So this is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. This is actually one of my favorite blush brushes. At one time, I found this to be much too large for highlighter. Um, I really liked something a little bit smaller and more precise, but now I find I really can take a little highlight just on the tip of the brush and kind of work it into like this region and then I apply my blush kind of right over top of that. So I think this brush would work well for both purposes. Um, again, it's a Luxie brush. I just like these brushes. I have probably three brushes almost exactly like this, all Luxie, and I use them all exactly the same. So this would be the brush that I use for blush and highlight in this sort of imaginary situation where I only have 10 brushes. And then lastly for the face, I had to pick a bronzer brush. And this one is my favorite. So this is the Alamar bronzer brush. It's just called bronzer brush. I don't know what it is about this one. It, it just is so special. So it's got this, I don't know if you can see the sort of bumpy texture on the top of the bristles. Um, so it's got this sort of interesting texture. It is sort of a flat top it's almost like a flat top kabuki, um, but it's not super densely packed, but it's very soft. It's got those little bumpies on the top. There's something about this brush that hugs the contours of your face so perfectly to where 
you don't even have to think about where you're putting your bronzer. It's just going to look amazing. And it, because it's not too densely packed, you don't get that like too much color all in one spot type of situation. You really just can buff it in perfectly and it just hugs the contours of your face. This brush also works really well with powder or cream bronzers. I do like to apply my cream bronzers with a brush. I really don't use a sponge for anything. Let's just be honest with ourselves. I know I could have like cheated and maybe added an extra brush and used a sponge for something else, but I, just realistically, I would never. So there's something really special about this bronzer brush. You can use it with powder. You can use it with cream. It hugs the contours of your face so perfectly. Um, I just love it so much. And I found like, let's say today I used it with a cream bronzer and then tomorrow I wanted to use a powder it doesn't seem to matter. Oftentimes I, I find once I've used cream with a brush, I really have to like fully wash it before I use it again with a powder. I think the window cleaners are here. So, so sorry. We are going to hear some weird stuff going on. Anyways, love this so much. This would definitely be the one bronzer brush. It works for everything. It is perfection. Then we're moving on into the eye brushes. So I did pick five, so that was five, that was five face brushes, and now I've got five eye brushes. I do have an honorable mention because I couldn't help myself, but here's how I did this, okay? So I have to have a fluffy crease brush, like an all-over fluffy crease brush, so I also need a flat shader. <laughs> so I have this dual-ended one, and I decided this is the one way I'm going to cheat. So this is the Luxie 249. So you've got this really soft, really kind of floofy um, crease brush here on this end. And then on this end, you've got a fluffy sort of flat shader. So this one I really like and need to do my crease work. I can do most of my crease work with a pretty fluffy brush. It would be nice to have something a little bit more precise, but I could do easily do the look that I have today with this one with this one brush sort of for the top lid. So something fluffy like this, I would use this to set down my eye primer. I would use this to lay down my transition color in the crease. I would even use this to build up a little bit of depth on the outer corner. I would also use this for like blending purposes kind of up into the crease and all of that sort of thing. And then a flat shader like this, a fluffier flat shader. I do like to apply my shimmers in general with my finger, but every once in a while you'll get a formula that doesn't work super well that way. And then it's really nice to have sort of a flat shader to just kind of pack something onto the lid. So I felt like that covered sort of both ends of that spectrum in terms of application. And then I like to have one of these brushes. I have quite a few of these. This is the Luxie 209 Large Shader. So this is a much larger shader brush. You can see it's a little bit flatter on one side than the other. It's very densely packed. It's pretty firm. Um, and what I like a brush like this for is sort of a one color eye look, you know? When I take sort of a mid-tone, let's say like what I have in my crease today, I would take something like that on a brush like this, apply it all over my lid, all up into the crease. Because this is relatively fluffy, you can even blend a bit with this. Um, it's also good for packing a little bit more color into the crease. Just gives you a little bit, something a little bit denser where this is like very floofy and floppy. This is like pretty dense and you can pack on with it, but you've got a little bit more width this way than you do with this one this way. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. And then I would have to have something like this. So this is gonna serve a couple of different purposes. So this is the Luxie 245 Small Shader. This is a very small, very flat shader, okay? So I would use something like this to highlight the inner corner. I would use something like this to apply liquid glitter shadows to the lid because it's so firm and flat. I would also use this as a concealer brush. I had a concealer brush kind of in mind that I thought I would include in my 10, but you know, some things had to be cut. So this sort of serves both, both purposes. So if you did need to spot conceal with this, or if you did need to like carve out the brow because it's so flat and firm and it's got sort of a sharper edge on it, it would work really well for that purpose as well. So this is kind of a multi-purpose brush. And then the last two are sort of for detail work. So of course I have to have a pencil brush. So this is one of my favorites 
This is the Luxie 141 Mini Round. It's just the teeny tiniest little baby dome brush. It's just a little tiny pencil. Gosh, somebody's cleaning the window. He's right there. He's gonna think I'm so weird. Oh my God, I'm mortified. Anyway, it's gonna be fun. <clears throat> <clears throat> Moving on. Um, so a brush like this, I, I really like something like this for doing that detail work sort of underneath the eye. I also find this really, really useful for, let's say you've done your crease, you've done your outer corner, you've applied your glitter on your lid. That's sort of my go-to look. Sometimes I feel like I just need a little bit more depth in that very outside corner. And so I can just kind of dot this in my palette and go boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Very, like very precise, very detailed to sort of get that depth that I'm looking for without having to go in and blend and do all kinds of things again. A brush like this is really good for that. You could also use this to highlight the inner corner. A pencil brush is really useful. You could do really detailed crease work with it if you were doing some sort of a cut crease or something like that. I don't do that, but if you were, <laughs> that would be an option. Um, so something like this would be really useful for a lot of different things. And then of course I had to have an angled brush. I was also gonna pick a spoolie, but then I was like, you know, realistically I would have an eyebrow product with a spoolie on it. So we would definitely have a spoolie somewhere in the collection, even if we only had 10 brushes. So an angle brush is really helpful for a lot of things. So this is the Luxie 215 small angle brush. Um, so something like this, very teeny tiny, very precise, very petite. Um, so you could use this obviously for liner. You could also use this to fill in the brows. So something like this, though I might not use an angle brush every time I do my makeup, if I was only gonna have 10 brushes, I think I'd have to have an angle brush. What if I wanted to do a wing liner with a dark eyeshadow? What if I wanted to use a brow pomade instead of a pencil? I would have this to sort of work with. And you can also do the underneath the eye with it, though I do prefer a pencil brush for that. 10 brushes. I think I hit all the marks there. Now, if I was gonna add one more, it would be sort of a smaller, like dome brush, smaller than this one, but not as small as this. You know, it would be nice to have something like this. This is the e.l.f. Something like this would be really nice to have, but as you can see, I can kind of do without it. It would just be, you know, it'd be a nice addition, but this makes 11. So those are the 10 brushes that I picked out. If I could only have 10, I think I could be very satisfied with those 10. But can you imagine how often I'd have to wash these? <laughs> I'd be washing my brushes every week. As it stands, I can go about a month without washing my brushes because I have so many, I can kind of rotate them in and out. But those are definitely some favorites and those are like the go-to shapes and styles and what I use them for. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you'd like to see other versions of this. I've also seen Samantha March do like, if I can only keep 10 high-end eyeshadow palettes, if I could only keep 10 blank. So let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I thought it was kind of fun. She always has some interesting video ideas. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna wrap this up here because now they're hammering outside of the building and it's gotten really loud. So. So sorry about that. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.